This is a cataract with grade 2 nuclear sclerosis and mid dilated people. The people became very small while managing the nucleus. Let us observe this surgery. After the initial steps, capsulorexis is being done at this moment. The patient is under topical anesthesia and the patient was not much cooperative. However, we could manage the case. Now, hydro dissection is done very carefully when the people has become so small. When the rexis was being done, the size of the people was about 5 millimeter, and now as I inject visco, it has dilated to about 5.5 millimeter. Now see what happens as I start chopping the nucleus. As I aspirate some cortex from the anterior part, see the people has become very small. Size of this people is about 4 millimeter or even 3.5 millimeter. And now as I try to hold the nucleus and chop the nucleus the size becomes about 3.5 millimeter and it stays here so since the cataract is soft and since I am able to hold the nucleus since I am able to hold and chop the nucleus case can be managed without using any people expansion device. In this case ultrasonic energy used is 60% though 60% was not used most of the time. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. That is, this is Oatly Catarex 3 vacuumation. This is the last portion of the nucleus. At this time, I removed the chopper to make the SE more stable. And the nucleus is managed. Now, visco is injected and in this case, I used a 23G Simco cannula to remove the cortex. You can see there is a thin layer of cortex covering the posterior capsule and we have to very patiently remove this thin sheet of epicortex. Go through the side ports to remove the sub incisional cortex. This is a 23G Simco and it goes through a small side port. And now go through the other side port and remove the cortex from the other side. Now visco is injected to fill up the capsular bag and the anterior chamber and then a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. and the nucleus is and the intraocular lens is dialed to place the haptics about 90 degree away from the main wound so that we can clean the visco from behind the eye well. Visco cleaning is done nicely. The antechamber is formed very well and then integrity of the wounds are checked there should not be any leakage from any wound. After that, few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. So, if the nucleus is soft and if we can hold the nucleus easily, even if the people becomes small to about 3.5 millimeter during 
chopping and emulsifying the nuclear pieces, the case can be managed easily.